you can hear me or if you can see me I should be online again hello hello testing This is such a pain. I mean, it's just a random disconnect for no reason. Now I have to restart everything. And... I'm really fed up with this garbage internet. Ref equals when you get index. No, I mean that selected ref, selected ref index selection change. So I mean that makes sense, okay. But if the reference is no longer valid, then all we're gonna get is null. Get type list index from type ID. I don't even know if I'm live. I don't know if I'm live. Can anyone hear me? Everyone's disappeared. Put him on dashboard or... Ah, thanks. <laughs> Um, Um...
Transcription just helps um, even this is a wow. Um, I think what I'm going to have to do here is create a map just of um, indexes to something that describes the reference information. Like, um, the thing is, this whole thing about the unknown references now. This is not supposed to happen, and yet somehow it happened. So there's some bug somewhere in the, on this particular client has caused this to happen, and it's the first time I've seen it happen. So in 15, 16 years, this bug is never activated, because this use case never occurred, of the, the references being unknown. Now suddenly, it's activating. So you, you've got a bug that's been sitting in the code, that's technically a bug, for 15 years, but it's never activated just because this particular scenario never occurred of something going wrong somewhere else. So when something goes wrong, the code that handles it, yeah, is handled it incorrectly and that causes a crash. Um, and the way to fix it is not immediately obvious. I just ate a whole, I just ate a whole entire, I just ate this whole damn chocolate, dark chocolate thing. Just about there's a one one or two pieces left. Um just a red bull. Man, the people you meet on the internet. Uh, on Saturday night. So I need some sort of map, but I don't even know how to map map two because I can't map the reference the entry index. I need two maps, entry index, and no, no, no. All I need is the ID, the sense ID. But the sense ID is the thing that's unknown.
not to be my eyes. What I actually need is not to raise the light, I need to put something around it to make it more diffuse. So change. Is that there's so many things wrong with us. It makes me wonder if this person actually ever sees a real naked woman in real life. <laughs> I mean, they're still in the street, but seriously. Surely that's, that's the sort of comment um, hello Hitman but like this whole mentality like if, if a woman is, is, is naked, that somehow means that you can automatically be disrespectful to her. That makes no sense. That's like dumb and retarded. Um, it's really like primitive minded. It's really small minded. Um, I'm, yeah, it's a bit involved to explain. It's, uh, uh, um, can I say about them? Um, that's, uh, now this particular bug Thank <laughs> you. 
So I need to This is a little bit tricky because, yeah, basically, right, so if I run the software just normally now, I'm not, not going to invoke a crash. in this mode because yeah um, I think the, the TLDict autocorrect the local file version autocorrects when we go to the document so but basically um, there was an example I think on Avalonie or where was it uh, no not Avalonia um, Mm. Yeah, the name of the affected entry entry is uh, oh wait it's on the other side have any absorb there's one but why does it say a lone stack that's also got to be fixed So the problem now is this is a reference cross reference to a sense. Avalonie stick, okay. But now this has just become it's supposed to be a reference to steak um Oh, this one's not present. Oh wow, look how many... That's crazy. Uh, okay, this is not one of them. It looks like it's supposed to be one of them, but anyway. Um, it's a shrimp. This looks like one of the cases. Right, so the, the problem is... No, that one looks fine. That's weird. Maybe something else is going on. Maybe these are actually correct. Let me just open the um Let me get an, get an actual case from the live database. Make sure that I'm looking at
So this is a French English this is an English French dictionary. Refactoring this dialogue is going to be a little bit of a pain to make sure it works nicely. I wonder... Because every single edit that you can do must then update. If you move, unmove. Uh, in programming void do something, it's known as a method. That was known as... <laughs> This is an assignment. I don't help people with homework. I'm not just to help you with your homework. There we go. <laughs> Somebody else wants to help you with your homework. <laughs> When I studied, we didn't have people on the internet who helped us with our homework. <laughs> anyway. Uh, no, I don't mind helping people sometimes. I don't mind teaching people, but it's... There's a... It depends on the context. Like if I see someone's really interested in learning and is not just lazily using me as a substitute for Google to answer a question that's easily Googleable. Then I'll help someone. Um, but I don't mind if, uh, if other viewers want to help. Right, user management, computer sorting. So, I'm now back in the live database. And I want to run this filter. reminds me there's also filter of error 
bit of inconsistency here. This one has a space and the other one doesn't. But I don't want to change it right now because then the debug thingy is gonna wanna rebuild the code. I'll do it in between runs. But I'm not in debug mode, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah. There you go. Um Okay, so while we're waiting for this, I don't know, we can give you some useful shortcut keys. Control Shift F. One of the ways I really mostly get around the code, I use this all day long. Control Shift F. It's really an Alt W, Alt C. That's, you know, press Enter. So if I want to, if I want to see all instances of get filter string, Control Shift F on it. Enter, and I get a list down there, and it used to be you could just press F4, but I, I think Visual Studio 2017 it doesn't work anymore, but I reset up F4 to, to cycle through these results. So just F4, I can jump through all of these results, and this is, this is one of the main ways I get around the code. Um, and you can really see where a function is used quite easily. Uh, Okay, we're in again. So we have yellow and tuna as a reference to tuna. Right. But that should be a reference to the yellow and tuna sub entry boom under tuna. But it's instead just a reference to unknown. And the bug here is that as soon as we double click on that to remove that bad reference it crashes. Because we've never had bad sense references before. So this didn't happen before. Now we have bad sub and now we have bad references, bad sense references. They remove, they're not handled correctly, and it crashes instead of removing. And I need to, I need to first fix the crash. You know, the user can't even fix these problems, these cases, if the software crashes when you try manually fix them. I've added filter to help find them as well, but that still doesn't help if you can't even fix them manually. And then once I'm done with that, so I need to do several things. Um, Add this new error check filter to the builds, then um, fix the crash, try to remove the unknown references manually, then the script to try automatically fix the, what looks like about 600 cases of these things. Now this is a little not untricky because we can have multiple references and each reference each reference may optionally have one or more senses as the target ID. <laughs> um, yeah, it's quite a lot. There's quite a lot going on. Um, As long as you get some value out of it, then I'm happy. Uh, so this this dialog now this is literally this is an ancient bug that's just never the weird thing is you can have bugs in your code that are fifteen years old and they they never they just never get activated. Like you never know the bugs there because the use case they're just hard, like latent. Like, Sharks beneath the surface, just waiting for the day the right circumstances appear 
to to make the bugs visible. Um, it might be less than 15, it might be like 12 or 13 years old, I don't know, but it's, it's old, very old. And this is a painful to fix, because... Let me just think how to fix it. Uh, so this list of references... Every time it's changed, I'm going to have to probably have some sort of map. Either um, actually, this is not that difficult to change, uh, or is it? Basically, all right. When we add something to this list. Okay. That list down there. Oops. We set the item data to a pointer to the node, uh, the underlying node. So that when your user selects it, we can fetch the node that it's referencing. However, the problem here is that the node is now null. So when you click on it, all you know is null. So we need to store actually the ID and reference type, like um, either instead of but that's a bit slow, huh? What if we just store the ID full stop, and then when we need the pointer, we get the pointer. That'll work. That'll work. And then when we click on this and it's null, we can check. Quite a bit of refactoring. There's, it's probably the simplest. The other way is to create a corresponding map that is synced. Basically, like the model, you could call it the model for this view of the references. If you think about model view controller MVC and this being the view, then that would be the model, this little map. There's already a model which is the actual references. Why not just use that? Can't we just use that? We can, but I'm not... It's a bit weird, like... Let's say it seems, you know... Too good. We could... We can back calculate, you know, you know, from the index. But I'm also not mad about that, because if something goes wrong, and then it's out of sync. There should actually be a pair. Each each item in that list should be a pair. The reference and the node. Uh, the entry and the node. Entry node. Entry node. Entry node. Node ID. Entry node ID. Entry node ID. Why is this not easy? Um. This is the unknown case we're hitting now. That's not the crash though. It's fine to add an unknown. The problem happens later when we try to move the unknown. If I double click now on this, it'll crash. What we need is the entry as well as the sense ID. Um, get your sense, get your sense ID. Uh, at this function, we need to call this one get your sense ID instead of. So we only need to call get your sense ID, and then as the data, we use the ID instead of the the 
it sense and um, intriguing this. This is really a pain because actually from the ID, even if we have the ID, there's no easy way. First I have to um, get Remove rec sense. We could use that unless the IDs are somehow duplicated. Remove rec sense. This is what we actually want. Remove rec sense by index. This has no bounds checking. Um, let me make sense. Index. What a pain. I can't believe it. You know, This uh, should be if the index is less than This one doesn't need to be checked because we know we're looping in it. Okay, let's just add a little bit of extra safety. Check what's going on here. Watch my seems like trim down a bit here. So this needs to change. 
Okay, that said I think that uh happens yeah 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 and yeah I'm gonna add should it should also be on since end I just call the rebel rips Right, so every time I call set item data, we're gonna. What I really want is a pair, but I don't think we can do that. Because the item data is only a lump. I want a pair. Actually, yeah, I want basically a pair. That's why. I, that's why we need a map. Basically, that's where the map comes in. Um, map of list index to descriptors that are pairs. That'll be the entry and then optionally the ID of the sense, I guess. What a nuisance. Let's uh if it it So all these cases, whenever they do anything with this list, we need to Map and find it into. I'm starting to not like using this DJU int unsigned int. It's shorter than typing unsigned int. Um, yeah, anyway, that's, that's a five minute. Um, let's, let's go off topic. Standard map int. To pair this is also ugly. Well, I don't like that standard pair. There must be a better way to do this. Uh, there is another way to do this, and it's just have two maps. No, it's not much better than a pair. Anyway, if I do entry, if I do end. So then any time I change refs um this is this as well correspondingly so this is now kind of like the model in a way and it should replace that data so whenever we insert item we do this okay. insert Oh, man. Should I be an RD? Should just be an entry? Oh wait, that's if it's null. Okay. If I can null. Mm. 
Don't forget any time we insert data we have to keep this stupid thing up to date. And then... Why is that moaning? Because it's a map, not a vector. Um, yeah, it's a map of index. What's the point of that? That's silly. Should it be a vector? Then we will still get reference ID and ID right there. This story there can change a bit, but let's first. Um, so now I haven't changed the existing stuff. I'm just creating this extra in parallel. Here I want to also add um, is kind of as a move up um, on your. This is purely defensively. This is not. This is just something I noticed. Purely defensively, I. This is now defensively defensive coding. Okay. Now that looks okay. Um, P node equals. Perhaps can I item data and if you know it is not equal to model and not an entry class. Okay. So before we type class to entry, use the runtime type information to make sure it's actually an entry. And we'd add that here in the move up and move down. That's fine. Set rate selection by lemma. Blah 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 blah. We've not changed.
Nice fan of my ex coming to her ass just yet. I'm sure she'll be here eventually. Just plug this in. Back is getting low. charges for my phones. Yeah, I must go back to having one phone. <laughs> it's a mission always going two phones around. But it's it's quite handy because I use like I use the old spare phone as a CCTV to view watch my CCTV. I could just use the side screen for that. Anyway, um, let me just get back to the screen. Blah 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 blah. Okay, what's going on here? Silent. Right, rift off changed. Uh, rips. Here's another one. This looks dangerous. Rips get out some data. What does this do? Rift type change. So when you edit the rift type, it goes through rifts. Oh, but that must work. That doesn't need a type safety check. Sorry, that doesn't need a type safety check. It's going to stay as it was. Um, Yeah, that can stay as it was. Here's the latent Okay, yeah, yeah That's the bug I've been talking about That's, I don't know what 10 to 15 year old This is wrong, 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 wrong And it causes a crash But it never happened before because this was always not long. Okay. <laughs> now this client has managed to get hundreds of these things to be null, and well, there's a bug in the software. I mean, it's not their fault. I don't mean it like that, but there must be some bug somewhere else in the software causing, in, in their case, to be wrong. Um, which I think has something to do with the MySQL setup they're using. Could be a timestamp issue or something, but uh, which is causing some ODBC funny, which is causing these things to be wrong, which is then causing this bug to be activated. So this one I need to do differently. This is completely wrong and makes absolutely no sense. Um, 
I feel nervous. Yeah. It's weird, like, if you see... It's weird if you see a code that's more than 10 years old and has never ca caused a problem, but it looks totally wrong and you want to change it. It's like, no. Like, I, I feel like maybe I'm wrong in thinking that it's wrong. Like, it's just been not causing problems for 10 to 15 years. So maybe I'm wrong in thinking that it's wrong. But that happens sometimes. Sometimes you look at old code and you think it's wrong because you don't remember exactly how it's supposed to work and then you think the code is wrong. So maybe I'm wrong in thinking that it's wrong. It just looks really wrong and it does crash. Alright, so we want to remove an invalid cross reference, but what we want to actually do is now use this new structure that I've added to get we don't want to use mn selected ref, but rather use mn This on remove. Instead of here's the new um, maps to figure out that entry on sense. Yeah, out of range then something's really messed up like it, it mustn't be out of range okay it's it greater than equal to that can't happen all right so we're gonna so i'm gonna assert it there well let's make it a soft assert because it's not you know you can recover from it it's not Something the software needs to stop. The software assert is something I came up with. That um, it's like an assert, except so it reports, but it just reports something to us, and then it carries on the execution of the software. So a normal assert halts execution of the software. But a soft assert is something that is bad enough that we want to report it to us, but it's not bad enough that we can't elegantly recover from it and let the user carry on working. So that's what soft assert does. Going equal to all right um right, so as we say ID calls. Let's use the ID as well. This will be an ID. I'll tell you why. Because if we happen to have a case of a null entry, then we also want to be able to remove it without the same principle. Um, an invalid cross reference. We want to be able to find these cases, remove them. So here we want to actually. Entry ID. Alright. So we want to add that. 
the ID, even if it's null, which will allow us to remove it also, even if it's null. Same principle. Okay. Because each entry has a unique ID, and that ID stays the same in the database, blah, blah, blah. But the pointer, when you open and save, pointer to the instance of the class by editing that node, changes every time you run the program. Anyway, so here we have let's call it the ID entry. Okay. ID entry. That shouldn't happen. Okay. Now we can get a. Oh, we just remove it. We don't need. Basically, if, um, it's a ref reference. And now we need the function that I said we need. Um, remove ref sense, but not by index. Um, remove ref sense by ID. This is a bit creepy because it doesn't know your entry. What if there's a duplicate ID problem? I wonder what these IDs are. That would be interesting, like, are they null? If they're null, why don't we just delete them? Why do we even have them? Maybe they're all null. I think there where it says unknown, I'm going to change it so we can see the actual ID as well. Because now this function... Get your body from... This stuff. I think I'm the only person now who knows what's going on here. Better sense, remove Remove sense. So I need something like this, but we should have actually store the index, not the ID. Should yeah, we should. But that doesn't make sense either, because if it's an entry, <laughs> oh, yeah. um. And also, there's a second thing we must remember in the in the updates. That will happen. That will happen in real drifts. That will happen in variable drafts. Okay. Um, no ref sense. So this is like wrong anyway, because. And what if it is null? Then, I mean, that's silly. I, I, we do need the index actually. We need a, a little extra piece of information. We do in fact need to know that that is in the third thing. And I have both surface and surface sub element. Actually, we don't want the int. Oh, once we have that, then we actually want the, the, in, the index over there instead of the ID. So, so yeah, we're going to add the ID. And now we add true. Okay. Um,
Moveset reference by index. Um, and that'll be At some point, my ex-girlfriend is going to bang on the door. So she may have been knock knock. No. Do not really fancy that. on uh, open another CCTV. Sometimes that to do leads to another to do and that leads to another to do. That's what's happening right now, like, I just started I'm ending up with a stack of to-dos Like, I start looking at one and then in the process of looking at that one I find this trash bug Which I then have to fix before I can do the previous thing And um, once I've done the previous thing, there's other things I need to do Okay, um, let me just change the index. Let's just make sure now this does proper bounce checking. Um, I 
look in the mirror if that isn't true or false if this, if it asserts if it isn't true So it's actually three things. I was talking about having a pair, a map of pairs, and I'm glad I didn't do the map or vector of pairs because in the end we needed three bits of information. That should actually be a struct. That should be one array with a struct. But anyway, you can't. That should be <laughs> should be like one array with a struct. But anyway, whatever. You can't do everything right. Yeah, um, I'm gonna be reading perfectly. So if it's a sub-element ref, then as long as the index is correct, call remove ref sense by index. Okay. Otherwise it's an entry, so then we call uh, remove the entry by ID. Brilliant. Perfect. Now I think there's one or two other places in the code we also need to fix one tiny one line of code. Wouldn't there be an easier way, like just, no, there's no easier way. We need the information about exactly which reference it is to remove it. Always with a with this percent style, printf style, always double check that you've passed the corresponding type and um, correct type and correct um, number of parameters and correct parameter order. This is actually wrong, isn't it? Wait. Assert. Huh? Assert? <laughs> Confusing. Assert that sub element index greater than equal to zero. And if not, assert. If not an assertion, I can go ahead and do it. Alright. I need to break one there.
Now, of course, this has to be tested properly. That we're not accidentally introducing oh, bugs. Uh. I don't know what code that looks like that. I don't ever edit that. That is, I don't know what I'm doing that. It's not very well. Doing the assignment over there and immediately using that same assignment in a comparison. Anyway, there's less things to worry about. It's not wrong, I mean there's nothing wrong with it, but it's one of those mm, It doesn't exactly enhance readability and understandability of the code. Anyway, and um, uh, then results. Right, on choice types, if we need symmetry, that's all fine, that's all fine. Um, That's fine. That's fine. I guess it's not that could be a bit weird. Um This needs to change. So when we add a lemma, we need to add this as well. Yeah. Corresponding. That's a unit. So why am I pushing back minus one? So, uh, let's go back to pushing zero. As long as that's false, it's fine. Okay. Um, let's push that out. Okay. This should be a struct. It should be a struct of three things with one vector. But anyway, it's not. And sense add, add ref sense, reboot reps. And then move. And then move is the thing I fixed, okay?
And yeah, every time I push back minus one, you want to change those to zeros. Because, yeah, otherwise, if, 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 if. And positive number. Right, simple, done. That's bug fixed. Hopefully that should do this. Okay, that should be fix the crash when you try to move an unknown. So I need to get on with the other things. But I first need to test that fix. I wonder if other, you know, I think it does never happen, but it's possible this crash has happened before with other clients. I'm just not aware of it. You know, we got crash logs. What will they show up as? Um, crash in... Um, on a move what? why is this open? Um, um, now I've got a headache now Right. The check and I know. Interesting to see what the ID is. Okay, it's not null. There's some value there. 173479. 173479. I wonder if there's some way, how can we make sure that there is no such ID? Um, 173479. 173479. Okay, I'm going to export this thing. Save a copy or uh, save as. Ah, I've forgotten what it was. 173479. 173479. Let me check. 173479. 173479. Okay. Um, Why is the same as XML? XML? Data.
What I want to check is just to make sure that that there isn't something else going on, that that sense actually exists. That something else is now wrong with it, that it doesn't find the reference. Because the, the correct theory is that the sense just does not exist anymore, and that the ID is no longer valid ID. That's, but maybe that is not, that's the theory, the current working theory, but maybe that isn't what's happening. So I just want to double check that my understanding of what's happening is correct. Um, 173479 I wonder why that doesn't show up under tuner under the reference What was it? Blue tuner? That's interesting, why is that? Why is it not bad? Maybe the XML explorer automatically. I mean, I don't remember. Maybe the XML explorer. I put XML. Lamar. Skip over in the 10 sex refs. Nice. I wonder if that should really be an option. Alright, so the XML exporter nicely just cleans up and removes invalid ref sense references, which is, um, I don't know, I guess that might not be desirable in some cases. Yellowfin tuner. Alright. So yeah, the, the XML exporter just drops all these invalid references. So there is no 173.479 in the database. There is no node with that ID. So in other words, the, the working theory is correct. Um,
actually interesting coding. Um, I thought this would be boring coding, but it's actually interesting coding. Alright, um, we should really be single vector. Isn't there a way in C11 to do this? I don't want to create a whole separate struct, blah blah blah, it's just a schlep. Isn't it the way, way to do vector and then like define the thing in a sort of a compact way? I think there might be in C11, I'm not using C11, so anyway, you should really be single vector of practice. That can just type as node over here. Okay. Let's just um, make it that just to grab him the point. That was purely defensively added and has nothing to do with the bug fix I just did. So I've just added this, like I saw it looks a bit of a dodgy thing to do. It's to type class the pointer when you're not, you know, it's, it's relying on the grade states being correctly design, done. You know, that's a bit dangerous, that's wobbly. Like, as long as the grade out states are correct, you know, this will type class correctly. But that means you open yourself up to the risk that if somebody adds a bug in the grayed out states, that it's going to have a bad type cost. So that, that, that runtime type check is just a defensive measure in case the grayed, grayed states. And it just makes the code more robust. Anyway, um. That is already checked, so that's an unnecessary check. Okay. Um, so let's read lesson zero. Uh, if it's greater than no, yeah, that's a problem. I could just put this this check inside a soft assert, and the code will be a little bit easier to read. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, and a little bit more. Important. Yeah, let's just do that. But this is less than so I mean we just did like that, okay? And if not soft to set uh, then we just <laughs> that. Okay. Um assert that 
the selected rep is less than and therefore in this size and if not soft set it's better than not getting because the softs anyway I think I prefer it the way it was more readable actually let me do it like this I'm gonna do both so because this debug is a, this soft is at zero it's gonna report zero in our soft sets and that's a bit annoying if you know the line number okay fine but if the line number is changed then you no longer know what the hell that was okay. what? this makes no sense selected ref greater than or equal to oh yes it was greater than or equal to yeah okay it's tough to say that it's less than the entry size. Okay, that makes sense. That was the crash, yeah. That's why I'm frowning. Let me have a headache pull. I think I'm happy with this code. I think what I'll do is maybe release the yeah, uh, test version first. I don't know. The only, the only meaty thing that changes is in this path, code path. So even though it's quite a lot of changes, relatively speaking. There's nothing too dangerous. Printfs are always dangerous, but let me just double check all of them. Not dangerous as in, ah, oh, terrible thing, when you Just dangerous as in, double check them, double check them that you've done them correctly. But I'm gonna be like scared to use them like a little baby. I guess I should also just check the work, so move up and move down. Yeah, and that's... So, whatever, fine, okay. If that idea is null, then it, I should actually be removing by index. So it should actually add index as well. Because, um... I'm just thinking... Shut this 
Okay, not. Okay, not bad. Okay, not. Yeah, what I want to add is. So, uh, fix bug. Yeah. Reference. Reference. This is not quite right. Actually, no, it's fine. Um, yeah, I wanna. Um, yeah, I do wanna add something to the comments. That. Okay, so I'm searching for that because I think. Boom, there, okay. So that can go on the that we can delete. And yeah, let me get a shin bug. I need bathroom. Sometimes you need the bathroom and then you just sit because you're concentrating and you want to finish what you're doing. <laughs> So far, I've not been arrested during the stream.
it's a little bit cold, yeah. Mm. I think that light's also giving me a headache. Turn in my eyes, you know. I think it's like with this. Uh, Because it's running off an inverter. I think that causes it to have a subtle flicker that you can't see. Anyway, um. I don't know if I can scream with these on. Okay. Kinda makes me look like my blind person. <laughs> no, that's not right. Um I can see fine. See fine as I might. That actually be better for you. For the eyes. Okay, change the log. Oh, no, why did that happen? Why is that happening? Look at that. The HTML is showing us text. Or the PHP is just showing us text. Oh, I know why. Um, so to comment this line in div. Alright. There you go.
Really plenty of people are gonna mind it. After this quest. That's wrong if you change the outside ones, but anyway. Or make the inside ones anyway, blah 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 blah. We've got time to worry about that. Nobody. Okay. Changes that haven't been committed yet in the list of. Yeah, you can pick up the stuff in this place. I wonder if there was some reason that control G thing was like the way it was. I don't know. If we could key, I think it kind of a tag and first. Um, yes. There's a lot of new functionality since the April update, March update. April, May, May, April, May, June, July, August. Although it is quite far, it's five, nearly five months. Maybe I should issue a new big update. We have another big update like a month from now with the uh, IO stuff
This must be made an option first. So let's do that. It's just extra safety checks. Um, I don't know why they're not just one function then. Anyway. What if there's a difference? Uh, let's see any change in this whole function file. Let's commit it. Here's what I just did. Okay. I'm really tired, I think I just need a... Dopamine boost. Just the 
Mamacita. I feel like listening to music, but I don't feel like the damn copyright violations. I should probably, I don't know, maybe I should disconnect YouTube and then start again. Checking my CCTV. Somebody's there. I think it's just a neighbor. Nope. So what I was doing was I wanted to, in principle, just um, that's quite an important bug fix that, that I did. I think I should issue a worth thing about. problems. Um, Before I know another big update, nonce updates, I should try to fix some of the speed issues. So I need to also tell them speed issues. Use a different camera. I mean, a different. Selecting a different mic. Hello, testing. The audio should have changed slightly. Either better or worse. I don't know. Probably just bad in a different way. Okay. Um. Close this and reopen it first with a uh, reset cache.
Right, now have a click on this. And we're back where we started with a damn crash. Now what we actually want to do is remove that by double clicking. That's not working. So remove, okay, and then yellow fin tuner. Yo, that's really a painful dialogue. There's two senses. Right. I don't know if it's right. So this empty string as well, this should be saying something. Like um So difficult to first of all, I mean yo, there's so many problems here. That census thing is so tiny, I you know, to scroll through this horrible little thing. Um Why is nothing showing there? Are there discovery documents too? All we see is an empty entry. But look, this entry is full of stuff, it's not empty. Elephant tuna. Yo, what's going on here, man?
What is happening? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm just laughing at this. I agree with this, really. Uh, it's got tits. I have girls from all over the world DMing me on Instagram, asking when I'm coming. They see that I have money, freedom, adventure. There's almost creep gold diggers. Reality, your normal girl doesn't want that. You're stupid if you think it's gold digging. I agree, like, really. Anyway, um, But this I agree. I will tell my daughters to go after rich guys. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um save. Why suffer pointlessly for no reason? There's nothing noble in having a harder, more difficult life. If you can you know, if my daughter can, if my daughters can get with a wealthy guy and have an easier life, it would be absolutely stupid not to. I mean, it's just not only their lives will be easier, my life would be easier because I don't have to pay for as much if they get sick or have to pay for a wedding or blah blah blah. You know, if they got a rich guy. It's easier on me. <laughs> anyway. Alright, so this weird tuna issue. 
what I'm wondering is why why are we not seeing any text? There's several things that are annoying me about that reference to the dialogue now. Um, let me start making a list. Here it is. Senseless two tiny buttons. Okay. Also, I'm not sure you need to for this kind of database. Yeah, that's really horrible. I don't even know how they've been editing. Shame. I feel sorry for them, my users. They've been editing like that. No, I never, you know, I should be checking into these things. So they don't suffer so much. But, um, Okay, on this yellow can chew now, what I want to see is... That is a TE, so it should absolutely be shown. Customize DBTD, lock database. Customize DBTD. Special types, translation equivalent. TETE is not selected as a translation equivalent, that's weird. Why is there a TTE translation? The uh, yellow country now. Let's just stop showing these usernames. <laughs> it's quite horrible. Um, Put one eye on that CCTV. Just waiting. Don't know what I'm going to do if she pitches up now. Just ignore it. Right. There's no rock over numbers that I think could think of. Uh, 
Sending messages on the weekend seems to be a bad idea. You never get a response. Okay, um anyway. I forgot now what I wanted to check on here. Uh, something. Oh yes, messages. Oh, it's taking long. Wonder if it's still saving. If it's just any. Let's upload the. That's really cool. I don't remember doing this. I did not do this. For all three of them, it makes another explorer. So I don't. I don't remember doing that. That is a huge new feature, if I did do that. Option in DX is LT transforms, there it is. Um, I did. Cool. Awesome. That is a big new feature. Really big. <sighs> ah, it's finished saving. So, with that finished saving, with that change I just made, yes, that's better. So now we should be able to do this again in the DTD editor, ah, in the reference editor. You can see then the actual doesn't just show colon. That's it's not supposed to just show a colon. So that special type that I corrected there at least improves that. Okay. Um, so that's done. There's just special type missing. All right. Now let's unlock the database. Senseless to tiny.
<laughs> it's horrible. This code is not nice. It's not bad because it's simple code, but still. Anyway. So if you have a really small screen, that's why, you know, but even if a very small screen, that is still pretty whack. Uh, we can make that at least 200, I reckon. Dynamic, ideally, but the bigger things to worry about right now. Um, it's maybe a bit big now. Now we want to look into these. Not sure if I should use Lua for this. If a rep descends on known, check the lemma sign of the entry containing that reference. That's easy. Of course, sub entry with that lemma sign. Twenty ten really early. I feel really tired. Yeah. 
way to do this, that's a question. I need something that they can run. So I think what I must do is a shortcut key with a Lua script. There is not much going on there. I'm just going to run this now as my stream. <laughs> just kidding. Anyway, um, that uh, is restreamed. Um, same as I'm using. And Not because I have my said to me. <laughs> anyway, uh, right, so I need a script that does this. If you ever have to send Sunday and then there's six hundred of these damn things. I don't know if I must just automatically fix all of them in one script. Or we'll have a one more one. I think what I must do is fix all of them in one go. But save the database before and after and do like a compare. Or mark them for checking. I don't know, maybe I should check with the client first before I do that. Although they need something urgently. So I can't wait around forever. Look, 632. I fixed one of them. Gotta be in C So in, there's no reason that can't automatically fix itself to be yellow bean. Where's yellow bean? It can't fix itself. There's no yellow bean. So that one can't fix itself. That's fine, I got control G. Yellow morale. C morale. Okay. Yellow morale. And that one. Yeah, the morale. That's <sighs> um.
I need to shift mental gear to a different task. This is... That was productive, but... This I'm not going to do now. I'm going to check the client or... Um, I want to look at this. Tell them words, speed, impression, speed issues. I, um, I don't know if I'm quite mentally in the right state for looking at that. Uh, the other issue is right yet for the client. Yeah, in any case, I think we need to do something. Hmm. I have to blank the screen for a second. Be right back, be right back. Trying to see on the CD three what's happening outside. Okay. 
No, it's not a part. On Monday, yeah, Monday I must plow for a new passport. Right on Friday, but Going on there, man. I guess I could read that message. Let's see.
traditional reported speed issues in this word and Excel stuff, but it's difficult to say where it is because there's quite a lot going on in there now. This could be this new sentence stuff, could be the Excel stuff, could be the the search itself. You know, I really it's difficult to say. It could be something else entirely. So I have to try to get all of the data from the clients and uh, and see because that'll help and I can try to reproduce the issue and debug the exact time things and see exactly what's taking long um, Where are these emails, man? Come on. Um. My email box has like 9,000 plus messages in it. So it's sometimes not so easy just to even find a simple email that you should, you'd think you'd just see in front of your eyes. them red red um, no I don't know what's going on Transfer date. Yeah. I hope these have not expired. Sure, but it's been deleted. Uh, I don't need the files, but I think. They were in a VM, damn it. Um, It's just the Excel file, damn it. I need the
Every single email to the clients, blah, 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 blah. All right. Uh, If you're growing a bit,
Mm -hmm. oh. Let me put up and it's a tiny um. mm. I mean, that's not slow enough. That, that looks fast. Uh. This is a very fast machine though. It's one thing if you develop on a fast machine then you can sometimes not you know notice performance problems. So I should at least time those two operations, get rid of text. I want to time things and then just... This is a dead build, so I didn't just see this time now.
Plug. Music. Which means I must start a new stream there. I'm gonna do that. That should be an option. Show timings. Obviously, but for now, I'll just leave it on. Okay. Oh, there is nothing in there. Probably not, it doesn't make sense. Ahem. Okay, in the area of the thing, I don't mean this thing is uh, 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 and I first one. I think currently it is in the country, so um, uh, for that, I 
Is it correct? Yes, I guess so. Um, I'm not sure if we're not shadowing. Stop it, what is it? Um, we should probably time several in case we see spikes and then show the last. So that should actually be a bit of each one. Okay. Oh, there's no results, and that shows any in the results. Alright, so that isn't quite right. Uh, 
Okay. This story is weird. That should be whether or not it's found anything. I think it should be here. And then, yeah, I think these timings, it should be like an array of the last 10 or 20 values so that we can actually properly study what's going on. That's a punch. I don't know what that is. Now this is a bit weird because this generates before it's in the wrong order. So it's a bit we still get cell value, five milliseconds. And there's a large Excel file and it takes that's really quick. It does not take long to get the value. Three milliseconds, two milliseconds, seven milliseconds. And that's about I mean even there, uh, yeah, and that's not. The MDM search should be instant because we're not doing anything. But why is there no. Why is this not saving? Oh, right. Yeah, no, not that one. I mean, this one. That should also have the lying in it. Still, why is it not saving? That's a bug. So if there's no word, then it doesn't search Excel. That's very silly. Um, let's make a note of that. There's no word. It doesn't search Excel. 
surely a, it's not a dumb bug like this, really. I think they may actually be one. Um, right. Because I think it checks somewhere above. Let me check the MT. Um, If not MS pixel value MT, and it's not equal to text. So it checks our value. So that doesn't appear if text is empty. Strange. If it's the same as text, yeah, don't search. But if uh, I don't see the issue here. If this term document uh, um, Excel on. Let's get a thing from Excel, so Excel is on. Oh, it didn't search because it didn't change. Aha, yeah, okay. When the document changes, it doesn't detect the document change. It, that's a known bug. That's, that's what happened. It didn't detect a document change. So it takes up 44 milliseconds. That is not super fast. It's not deftly slow, but it's not. But it's. I mean, it's not. It shouldn't kill the user's experience. Now. But this is not a huge database, and it's a fast machine. Imagine the database is five times bigger. You know, we don't need to imagine. We can actually generate. Let's import this data. Okay, now we're gonna what language is that? It's German and um I 
think it's Slovenian. I'm not 100% sure. So we say add languages German. Slovenian, Slovak could be, let's assume it's Slovenian, all right. And we say import Excel. Quite a large, large Excel file. Let's just close it here. Yeah? I'm just going to import the first two columns. Okay, well that's fuzzy. Let's check the old phone. Checking Instagram, that is. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what am I doing? Anyway, um, I'm for the computer. Very sexy Catwoman cosplay. <sighs> Should do a painting like that. Painting. That's very nice. Who is this? Storm, level 19, blah blah blah. Mississippi, United States. I wish I lived in the US, really. I wish I lived in the US. Damn it, damn. This thing, I don't know how long this is going to take. I don't know what's thing. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Oh, thing thinks. I don't know if it's crashing or hanging or what it's doing. So I could automatically generate random data just to make this file really big. That's another way to do this. And to see if it just slows down the search significantly. Or maybe it's the MDM search that's slow, and they're using MDM. Um, hmm. 